Yeah, good evening children, welcome back to our SAT class of mathematics. Uh, so we are going to start a new chapter uh, called as complex numbers. Now what is this complex numbers means that we need to understand. See, if some a square equal to, see, a square equal to minus 1, suppose something like this you have. So a equal to plus or minus root of minus 1. So minus 1 under root is i. So if any number consists of i, then such number is called as complex number. That means any complex number is of the form a plus ib. c is equal to a plus ib. So this is called as real part and this is called as complex part. this is real part and that is complex part okay suppose a equal to 0 then c becomes ib purely complex if b becomes 0 c equal to a purely real means if in any complex number if real part is 0 it is purely complex if complex part is 0, it is purely real, means a real number is subset of complex number. Please remember this, real number is a subset of complex number. So then what is i? It is root of minus 1, i square is minus 1, i cube is i square into i, so minus i i cube is i square into i, i square is minus 1 into i is minus i, i power 4, i square whole square, i square whole square means minus 1 whole square, 1 and so on. This is how you will be getting this. So like this, i power 5, i power 4 into i that is plus i like that, please note it fast, quick. Quick children. Right children. So this is very important. Complex numbers is very important chapter. Please understand them very carefully. Complex number is C which denoted by C which is A plus IB or Z anything whatever it is A plus IB. So in that A is real part, B is complex part or imaginary part. So if A is 0 it becomes purely complex or purely imaginary, purely complex or imaginary. If imaginary part is 0 it becomes purely real i is root of minus 1, i square is minus 1, i cube is minus i, i power 4 is 1 and so on. This is what is the logic we need to understand, okay. So let us eliminate this now. So let us look at this. Sum of these two uh, complex numbers means when I add two complex numbers, I should add real parts 3 minus 1, 2. So you have option C and option D. So A and B are eliminated. Now minus 2 plus 3i is plus i, so option D. So that is simply this, okay. So answer is 2 plus i. Note it fast, quick. Okay, children, let us go to the next question. Difference means what? 
3 minus of minus 1 is 3 plus 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. These two options you have cancelled. These two are wrong. Now, minus 2i minus 3i is minus 5i. So, option C. Okay, children. So, this is difference of complex numbers. Note it fast, quick. Right children, let us go to the next question. Sum of 2 minus 3a and its conjugate. See, we have already discussed conjugate of a plus ib is a minus ib. So, this is very important. a plus ib conjugate is a minus ib. Okay. Or a minus ib's conjugate is a plus ib. So, sum of this and its conjugate means 2 minus 3i and what is its conjugate 2 plus 3i. Sum of these two means 3i, 3i gets cancelled, you will get 4. So, which option you have? Option A. So, answer is A. Right children, this is what is this. So, you need to note this conjugate. Clear? Fast, quick. Right children, so let us go to the next question. The product of 2 minus 3i and its conjugate. 2 minus 3i and its conjugate is 2 plus 3i. Conjugate of 2 minus 3i is 2 plus 3i. So, this is product he said. It is of the form a plus b into a minus b. That is a square minus b square, 4 minus 3 square is 9 into i square, i square is minus 1, just now we have proved, 4 minus 9 into minus 1, that is 4 plus 9, that is equal to 13. So, look at this, option A you have, same thing, whatever we have done here, same thing is here, please note it fast, quick. Right children, so let us go to the next question. The expression 2 minus 5i whole square simplifies to. So, a minus b whole square is a square this into this or otherwise a square minus 2ab plus b square. It is like this 2 minus 5i whole square that is a square plus b square 
minus 2ab okay so this is 4 plus 25 i square minus 5 force 20 i 25 i square is minus 1 so that is 4 minus 25 minus 20 i 4 minus 25 is minus 21 minus 20 i right children please note it fast quick option d just give me a second's time So let us go to the next problem. So look at this, what is there here? So the expression 3 by 2 plus i simplifies to. See whenever a irrational number is there in the denominator or complex number is there in the denominator, we should eliminate them from denominator by rationalizing. So this is of the form 3 by 3 plus 2i. So we need to multiply by 3 minus 2i conjugate and 3 minus 2i, that is all. So now look at this. So 3 plus 3 by 3 plus 2i is equal to this what we did. So 3 into 3, 9, 3 into 2, 6i. A plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. I square is minus 1. Minus 4 into minus 1 is plus 4. 9 plus 4 is 13. So 9 minus 6i by 13. So that is what we get it. So this is option B. Right children, please note it fast, quick. Okay, let us proceed to the next question. Simplify. Again, whenever he says simplify, we will eliminate the complex part from the denominator. So, for that we should multiply and divide by conjugate complex number. 8 minus 3i by 2 minus 5i into conjugate number of this 2 minus 5i is 2 plus 5i by 2 plus 5i. 8 to 16, 8 5s 40i minus 3 twos minus 6i minus 15i square by a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. i square is minus 1, i square is minus 1. So, minus 15 into minus 1 is plus 15, plus 15 plus 16 is plus 31. 40 minus 6 is 34i. 4 minus 25 into minus 1 is plus 25. 4 plus 25 is 29. So, this is option D satisfies. Right children, please note it fast, quick.
So let's go to the next question, children. So look at that. What is there? I power eight, children. This I told very clearly. I to I square minus one. I power four plus one. I square whole square. I power eight is I power four whole square. That is one square. That is one. So therefore, I power eight is one. Option D. Okay, this is I. Sorry, this is B. Okay. Please note it fast, quick. Right, children. Let us go to the next question. I power eight eighty six. So whenever we take anything, we write it as I square whole to the power of something. So two fours, two fours, two threes. I square is minus one whole to the power of odd number. Four forty three is odd. Minus one to the power of odd number is minus one. So therefore, this value will be equal to minus one. Option A. Right, children. Please note it fast, quick. Okay, children. Let us go to the next question. This is also same. I to the power of three fifty five. This is odd number, so we cannot write I square into some I square whole power something. So what I'll do is I to the power of three fifty four into I. I'll write. Okay, I power three fifty four is I square whole to the power of two one two two seven fourteen two seven fourteen into I. I square is minus one whole to the power of odd into I. Minus one whole power odd number is minus one into I. So option is C. Right, children. This is how we proceed. So somehow we should get even power here. <coughs> Left over we'll write into I. So that we get the final answer. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, children. So we'll go to the next question. The expression four i cube plus six i square plus seven i minus eight. Four i cube, i cube can be written as i square into i, or otherwise i cube we have proved in the beginning directly as minus i. So in place of i cube, I'll write minus i. Okay, i square is minus one. Six into minus one is minus six. Seven i as it is, minus eight as it is. So seven i minus four i is three i. Seven i minus four i is three i. And here you have minus eight minus six. That is minus fourteen. So three i minus fourteen. So which option you have? Option B. Please note it fast, quick. So, right, children. Let us go to the next question. If eight i plus three into m i minus n equal a plus i b, then a plus b must be what? So, expand it. Eight m i square minus eight n i plus three m i minus three n equal to a plus i b. Okay. So i square is minus one. So minus eight m minus three n. This is constant. Plus i into three m minus eight n equal to a plus i b. So what is a real parts? Equate real parts and equate complex parts. 
a equal to minus 8m minus 3n and b equal to 3m minus 8n. So, a plus b. Minus 8 plus 3 is minus 5m. Minus 3 minus 8 is minus 11n. So, a plus b is minus 5m minus 11n. Minus 5m minus 11n is that. Right children, please note it fast, quick. This is into. into i ok note it fast quick Right children, let us go to the next question. Which of the following complex numbers uh, is equivalent to this? So, you see nowhere in the denominator you are finding i. So, therefore, we will eliminate complex number from denominator. You have 5 plus 3 i. So, conjugate complex number of 5 plus 3 i is 5 minus 3 i. So, this is 8 5 is 40 minus 24i minus 20i plus 12i square by a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. 40 plus 12 into i square is minus 1 minus 44i by 25 minus 9 into i square is minus 1. So, 40 minus 12, 40 minus 12 is 28 minus 44i by 25 plus 9, 25 plus 9 is 34. So, you can cancel with 2, you will get it as 14 minus 22i by 17. So, which option you have? 14 minus 22i by 17, option B, option B. Right children, please note it fast, quick. Okay, children, so let us go to the next question. This is all same. Look at this. Which of the following is equal to i power 50 plus i to the power of 0? Simple logic, children. i square whole power 25. i square whole power 25 plus i power 0 is 1. i square is minus 1. Minus 1 whole to the power of odd number is minus 1 plus 1 that is 0. Please note it fast, quick.
Okay, children, let us go to the next question. So, what is that next question? Look at this. Which of the following is equivalent to this? 2 into i square is minus 1. So, 2 into minus 1 is minus 2. How many options have minus 2? So, these two are rejected. Okay, those two are rejected. So, now i cube is minus i. So, minus 3 i. In these two, this is the one. So, answer is A. Right, children, please note it fast, quick. Yeah, let us proceed further. So, look at this. So, next question expressed in simplest form this this root 50 is 5 root 2 into root minus 1 is i. So, it is like this root of it is root of minus 50. 50 is 5 root 2 root of minus 1 is i. Root of minus 8 is 2 root 2 into root of minus 1 is i. So, 2 root 50 is 2 into this. So, 10 root 2 i minus 3 2 are 6 10 root 2 minus 6 root 2 is 4 root 2 i so that is nothing but equal to 10 minus 6 is 4 root 2 i which option you have you have option c okay this is what i have shown here simplification and it is simple substitution Okay, children, let us go to the next question. x equal to 3i, y equal to 2i, z equal to m plus i and i is root of minus 1, we know that. Then the expression x, y square, z, x, y square, z. So, 3i into y square is 4i square into z, z is what? m plus i. So, this is 4 3 is 12 i into minus 1 into m plus i. So, this is minus 12 m i minus 12 i square minus 12 i square i square is plus minus 1. So, this is 12 minus 12 m i. So, 
So 12 minus 12 mi. So this is option C. Please note it fast, quick. Quick children. Okay children, so let us go to the next question. Look at this. This is all what we have done before in the previous page. So g of x equal to this, then what is g of 10? So in place of x we will write 10. So that is 10 into root of 1 minus 10 whole square. 10 into root of uh, minus 10 is root of minus 9 whole square. Okay, so 10 into root 9 is 3, root of minus 1 is i whole square or otherwise when you take whole square, this is not required, this step is not required, simply I can say 10 square is 100, 100 into minus 9, that is minus 900. So please note that you have option B, you have option B, there is no need to bring i into picture, directly you can take off, okay or otherwise 30 i whole square also you can write but it is not there so it is not required. Okay, So note it fast quick. This much length is not required directly we can do without bringing i into picture. Right children, so let us go to the next question. Which of the following is equal to x plus i whole square minus of x minus i whole square? It is of the form a square minus b square. a square minus b square is x plus i into x minus i. Minus of minus i is plus i, that is what I wrote. So here i gets cancelled, 2x you will get. Here x gets cancelled, 2i you will get. So that is 4xi. So which option you have? Option D. Right children, please note it fast, quick. Or otherwise I can also expand a plus b whole square minus of a minus b whole square. That will get it as 4ab. 4ab. It is like this. a plus b whole square minus of a minus b whole square equal to 4ab. This also I can use either this I can use a plus b into a minus b or whatever it is, it is all same. Okay, So that is what you get, clear children? So let us go to the next question. See in the equation what is the value of n in the simplest form? See i power 13, i power 13 is i power 12 into i. So i power 2 whole power 6 or multiple of 4, if it is multiple of 4 directly you will get 1, if it is multiple of 2 you will get minus 1 like that into i. So next what is an i power 18? So i power 13 this is, i power 18 is i square whole power 9 that is minus 1 whole power 9 that is minus 1. i power 31, i power 30 into i, i power 30 is i square whole power 15 into i, i square is minus 1 whole power 15 is minus 1 into i. So substitute the values here. So i power 13 is i, i power 13 is i, directly we are showing it here and i power 18 equal to minus 1, i power 31 is minus i plus n equal to 0. So i i gets cancelled n equal to 1, n equal to 1. So which option you have? Option C, 
please note it fast, quick. Right children, let us go to the next one. Uh, so what is there? Which of the following is equivalent to 2i into xi minus 4i square? So let us find out what is that equal to. 2i into xi minus 4i square. 2i into xi minus 4 into i square is minus 1. So 2i into xi is 2xi square 4, 4 twos are 8i then uh, this is i square is minus 1, i square is minus 1, so minus 2x plus 8i. So which option you have minus 2x plus 8i is option B, please note it fast, quick, quick children. finished okay let us go to the next question now look at this if x is 2i y equal to minus 4 z equal to 3i he is asking you to find out x cube y z square root of x cube y z x cube what is x cube 8 i cube into y what is y minus 4 into z is what 3i so, this is 8 fourths, 32, 32 threes, 32 threes, 96, minus 96 into i power 4, i power 4 is 1. So, root of minus 96 into 1. So, that is root of minus 96, that is root 96 into i, root of minus 1 is i. Root 96 can be written as what? 4 root 6, 4 root 6 i. So, option A, please note it fast, quick, quick children, this is the thing, okay. So, let us go back to page 1, simplification I have shown it here, please note it, not this long, take it fast, quick.
Right children, let us go to the next question. Look at this. This is all what we have already done. Which of the following is equal to this? It's simple product 13 into 4. 4 tens 40 plus 12, 52. So this is 13 plus 17 i into 4 minus 9a. So minus 9 tens 90 plus 9 3 is 27. 90 plus 27 is 117 i plus this is 40 plus 28, 68 i minus uh, 9 7 63, 9 was 9 plus 6, 15 i square. So this is 52 minus 117 plus 68, 17 minus 8, 9, 10 minus 6, 4, minus 49 i minus 153 into minus 1, i square is minus 1. This is 52 plus 153, so 205 minus 49 i. So, 205 minus 49i. Thirteen plus seventeen i. Thirteen fours fifty two. Ninety plus twenty seven. One one seven i. Of uh, acha, this is wrong. Seventeen fours. Seven fours forty. Seven fours twenty eight. Sixty eight i. And that is one fifty three i square. Uh, so this is not seventeen i. So this is wrong. So it should not be seventeen. It should be. 7i. So then everything will change. So this into this, this into this is here. So this is uh, 7 force 28i. 28i. And uh, this is not 153, 7963. 63. So everything will change. So this is Uh, and this is minus 63. So this is 17 minus 8, 9, 10 minus 2, 8, and this is 63. So this becomes what now? Uh, 52 plus 63, 6 plus 3 plus 2, 5, 6 plus 5, 11, minus 89i. 115, 9 minus 89i, option C. So, this we will correct it to 7i, not 17i. So, with 17i, there is no option. So, this is 7i. Please note it fast. Quick. Quick, children. Okay, so let us go to the next question. X plus i y into a plus plus a plus i b equal to two x. Then x plus i y into a plus i b. So you expand it. A x plus b x i plus a y i plus b y i square. That is two x. So, 2x equal to real parts ax minus by and ay plus bx equal to 0 because there is no uh, imaginary part on the right side. So, that is what we get it. So, look at this. So, what is this? x plus iy into 
a plus i b equal to x plus i y. Uh, so, this is addition children, it is not multiplication 2 x. So, this all will change. So, addition means what? Addition means what? a plus x plus a plus i into y plus b x plus a is 2x means x plus a equal to 2x and uh, y plus b equal to 0. So, x minus a equal to 0. So, next uh, this is not needed because this was addition we took it as product. So, we got it. So, now x plus i y into a plus i b. So, that means what x equal to a or y equal to minus b. So, that means x plus i y into a plus i b I can write it as x plus i y into a is what x b is minus y minus i y a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square that is x square plus y square which option you have option a right children please note it fast quick. Right children, so let us go to the next question. So, which of the following complex numbers is equivalent to this? This is simple children, we have already done multiply by 4 plus 7i and divide it by 4 plus 7i. Rationalize the denominator, you will get it like this. So, 16 plus 49 is what 5, 65. 65 and numerator is 5, so you can take 5 common and cancel it you will get 1 plus 5 i by 13, 1 plus 5 i by 13, take 5 common and cancel it right. So, this will be option number D, right children please note it fast quick. Right children, let us go to the next page, you will get this quickly. Right children, so let us go to the next question. In an electrical circuit, the voltage E in volts, the current I in amps and the opposition to the flow of current called impedance Z in ohms are related by the equation E equal to I Z. What is the impedance in ohms and an electric circuit uh, that has a current of 3 plus I and voltage of 7 minus 4? E equal to I Z is the formula. Here he has given E equal to I Z is the formula. Uh, so, now I is given as 3 plus I, 3 plus I current I is 3 plus I and E is minus 7 plus I. So, z equal to e by i from here, z equal to e by i, e is minus 7 plus i by i is 3 plus i, 
rationalize 3 minus i and divide it, multiply by 3 minus i and divide by 3 minus i and expand it. So, denominator it is 10 because 9 plus 1 is 10 and numerator is this minus 20 plus 10 i by 10. Take 10 common and cancel it, you will get minus 2 plus i. Right children, that is option A. Please note it fast, quick. Quick children. Okay, children, please note it fast. So, let us go to the next page, copy it quickly. Okay, children, let us go to the next question. I think you have completed this. The expression is equivalent to which of the following? This is equal to ABCD options. So, simple expansion, children, 9 force 36 minus 27i plus 8i minus 6i square minus in the brackets again 5 force 20 minus 15i minus 4i minus into minus plus 3i square. So, this is 36 plus 6 plus i into minus 19. So, here minus of 20 minus 3 and 15 minus 15 minus i is minus 19 i. So, 36 plus 6 is 42 minus 19 i minus 17 plus 19 i. So, i i gets cancelled 42 minus 17 12 minus uh, 7 5 3 minus 1 2. So, 25 which option you have? option C. Right children, please note it fast. Anyway, as already it is there, same thing we have written. So, I will eliminate this ink part because it looks neat. Okay children. So, this is what is the solution. Uh, we have done, we have started only with the basics of complex numbers. We have not gone into higher level. So, just try to catch these things and understand. Uh, Let us work on uh, for future uh, with some more types that I mean future in the sense next class with a few more types that we have we are supposed to do okay. Thank you and have a great time.